Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes of Thunder Chief Field in action. Okay, people, I'm gonna answer one of the questions. Flip Ripper Dave asked me a long time ago, do I ever have trouble with bugs landing in my wet resin? Man, here lately I have. Get out of <laughs> bunch of dang flies. But I got up in the middle of the night and Man, he flew off after being stuck on there. Can you believe that? Another little guy. Got up in the middle of the night and put my another coat of resin on. Got up first thing this morning. Oh, he's going to be encapsulated. Got up first thing this morning and uh, put another coat of resin on. Man, I'm afraid he's going to be in there forever, too. And uh, so that's three coats of resin so far. I'm going to go for a couple more in there. There's a mosquito. Now, I decided to go ahead and leave him in there. My reason is if uh, I am ever kidnapped by the Chinese, you guys can drill into there, kind of like Jurassic Park, and extract my DNA and have me cloned. <laughs> But that's all tacked up. Ready for another coat of resin. I've been out shopping today, people. Wow, did I drop a wad of cash. There's a big old uh, box of fiberglass cloth, that four ounce that I'm gonna lay up two sludges with. I got some epoxy primer. I bought some urethane primer because I was at about both. Use the urethane for my plugs and I'm gonna start using my epoxy when I lay up my parts. Tom Cook says it's a lot better. So we're taking Tom's word for it. Got me another bucket of resin. Been to the Harbor Freight, sack of goodies over there. And I have got what I need. Okay. First of all, before I open that, there's a little bit left in this bucket.
I just got on some gun on my running, man. Just in time. I got to wreck another coat on this while it's still sticky. Hey, someone asked me, told me they bought some resin at Everco. And it's setting up in 20 minutes. I tell you what, I get probably 30 to 45 minute pot life. I don't know if that smaller pots, the more you mix up, the faster it sets up. But you should be able to mix up small amounts in a cup and get 20 minutes. Put your uh, put it all in the refrigerator. Well, you already said it's kind of thick. Uh, I don't know, man. You're not supposed to thin epoxy. You won't get the same. It messes up the chemical part. Uh, I don't know how much resin you bought, or even if it's a laminating resin. See, some of that stuff you get at like the hobby shops. I don't know. It's just this is what this is made for, you know. And all that stuff has different actual purposes. And if it ain't made for this, it won't work like this, you know. So if you just, West System sells small amounts and they can ship their stuff. It ain't really that expensive. Look up West Systems on your search engine. And they, they sell pints and quarts of this resin. And what you need is a laminating resin. You don't want a finishing resin. And uh, see how thin this resin is? Some resin's just too thick, you know? It's just not made for this application. You know? I don't know. Good luck to you, though. <laughs>